what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for the pixel 2 xl and today we're back with a case from mn ML. This one's actually going to be one of those very minimalist cases that's going to compete with like Peel or like Totally. So we'll see if it's a hit or miss. Price point's going to be $14.99. It comes in three different variations. You got this clear black, I think like a basically matte black, and then a blue as well. Out of 42 reviews, it's gotten three and a half stars, so kind of hit or miss. So we'll actually see if it's actually going to be a hit or a miss. You know how we do it, guys. So presentation looks pretty decent. You got the little bit of logo up top or N or M N M L, and simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Thanks for choosing, and then that's pretty much it. So that's it. You know, premium enough. Can't really say too much about the packaging. Don't mind it at all. Let's go ahead and get through the unboxing, guys, and see if this is a hit or a miss. I've become a more of a fan of these minimalist cases. I don't know about you, but it just really feels natural and kind of just better in the hands when you got these very slim cases. It keeps the form factor of the phone a little bit better. And in my opinion, it's one of those things that, you know, if you're just worried about basic drop protection, I'm just say basic scratch protection, this may be the way to go. Otherwise, it's not going to give you a lot of protection. But if you're worried about just getting that back scratched up, this may be the way to go. So this, again, it's got that smoke color. You can see it's semi-transparent. You can see through it, but it's got that smoke color that will help with any type of fingerprints while keeping the look of the phone, which is nice. You can actually feel that, or you can actually hear that, how thin material that is. Nothing to it. It's very flimsy. There's not a lot of protection. So don't think that you're going to get a lot of protection going into it. The first time I bought one of these type of cases, I was like, man, this thing feels cheap. But then I used it for a couple days. I'm not going to lie. It just feels really super nice in the hands. And I love that minimalist feel to it. So you can see you're getting some camera protection. We'll actually test that out as well. This one does say the updated version. So we'll see if this one's going to be a little bit different. I guess they probably released a second variation of it. Not really sure what what the deal was with the first one, but we'll check it out and see if this one's going to be a hit. All right, guys, let's pop it into place. One thing you do have to be just mindful of these such a plastic is such a flimsy material that it almost you have to fit in and just right, otherwise it will kind of bend the corners. So just keep that in mind. I do like the way this one looks right off the bat. I like that black on black, that smoke black with the black finish looks beautiful. You can see the G logo popping through right there. Very nicely done, and it looks very clean. One thing I do appreciate, it actually provides some grip to it as well. It's got a natural feel to it, almost like the phone itself. Now the fingerprint sensor, you can see the cutout looks very precise. Nicely done there. Easy transition because it's such a thin material. Now camera protection, um, you're getting a little bit. I'd like to see just a little bit more. It's not quite, you can see it's just a little bit raised up. I'd like to see just a little bit more camera protection, but it's not flush because you can kind of see it hiding once you do it at an angle. So I would like to see just a little more camera protection. Not the end of the world though. It's gonna give you some. Lip protection's probably gonna be none, and what you would expect that, you can see it is covered basically edge to edge protection. But then the tempered glass screen protector is going to be the actual main coverage. So if you do drop it, obviously it's going to hit that. It's going to hit your screen protector or your screen. That's just no doubts about that. You can see it though. It does have some protection on the top. And then bottom is covered up as well. So you will you know, provide you some basic drop protection. Not much to it. It's very, very lightweight. Doesn't add any bulk whatsoever in my opinion to the actual phone. You can see it's got a clean feel to it, a clean look. There's not any extra grip on the sides, but this material is, it does feel very grippy naturally. I really like that. So it does have the ports cut out right there. So the volume up and down is clicky. You know, it's, it's, it is what it is. I would just like to see it maybe covered up a little bit because it's a little bit, you have to kind of have to push down a little bit just because of the material, but not the end of the world. And then the power button actually is very, very clicky and responsive. So overall, guys, I would say, for $14.99, if you guys are looking for a minimalist case that's going to provide you just some basic protection, 
it's not a bad deal compared to like the peel cases that are $24.99 on the website this one does feel pretty close to that one in terms of the look and feel of it so this one's probably going to be a hit in my book just because of how it feels let me know what you think in the comment section hit the subscribe button we'll see you guys next time